tonight, the trauma of the Grenfell fire three years on. Good evening. Sunday marks three years since the Grenfell Tower fire when 72 people lost their lives, unable to escape a building covered with flammable cladding. In the aftermath of that terrible day, thousands of people across the country realised they were living in similarly dangerous buildings. Despite government assurances that removing cladding is a priority, those people will tonight still go to bed in homes wrapped in materials which could catch fire and that is having a traumatic effect on their mental health. The Rags Martell has reported for ITV News London on the fire and the lasting impact since June the 14th 2017. This is his report ahead of the anniversary. Well, tomorrow, Rags will be speaking to children affected by the fire and how they will come together without leaving home to mark the third anniversary. Four people have been arrested after police officers were attacked in Hackney. It was filmed and then shared on social media and shows the officers being pinned down. Police say they have been trying to help a victim of assault. Our senior correspondent Ronke Phillips reports. For Monday, London will start to return to something like normal with non-essential shops able to reopen. But the government's coming under pressure from the MPs and businesses to relax the two metre social distancing rule. Our political correspondent Simon Harris is here. And Simon, you've been talking to the leader of the opposition about this. Yes, or how many children might be allowed into a classroom. The coronavirus uh, outbreak has dominated politics for much of that time. There's a lot of pressure on ministers, not just there's enough room on a normal tube train carriage. Detectives investigating a fatal shooting in Shepherd's Bush in the early hours of Monday morning have named the victim as... Stormzy has announced that he will donate £10 million to charities and organisations tackling racial inequality and promoting black empowerment in the UK over the next 10 years. The Next to the long-term effects of coronavirus on patients who have survived after becoming seriously ill, Sean Fitzpatrick was in intensive care for more than a month. He's now being treated in a COVID-19 recovery ward at Woking Hospital. Well, to fully recover will take dozens of specialist carers and extraordinary determination, both of which he is lucky to have. He spoke to Rhea Chatterjee. First of the thousands of people and organisations that have helped during the pandemic, a few have stood out among the rest. 230 organisations across the country have been given the Queen's Award for Voluntary Service in recognition of how they've supported their community. One of them is Panas Gurkha restaurant in Lewisham. Antoine Allen has been to see how Lewisham has benefited from their kindness. I think we can all agree what an amazing teacher Audrey is. OK, weather now. And after the rain tomorrow, it's going to be warm and sunny for the weekend. Here's Ashley Creevy. Now, there are photos which capture the capital in 2020, life in lockdown London. The exhaustion, the isolation, the kindness and the courage shown during the pandemic. The Duchess of Cambridge is behind the UK-wide project called Hold Still. Well, today, some of the images were released to encourage more photographers to take part. Well, details of how to enter are on the National Portrait Gallery website. And before we go, the Queen has taken part in her first ever video conference call to mark Carers Week. Speaking And that is it. We are back with the latest after ITV News at 10. Coming up, Mary with the ITV Evening News. But from me and the rest of the London team, bye-bye. Take care.